When most teens are worrying about prom or if their crush likes them back, these teenagers are planning for the future. But what exactly does it take to make millions at such a young age? If you are a first-time viewer, click the red subscribe button and enjoy! Today, we are discussing 10 teens who have become self-made millionaires. Robert Mifune At 16 years old, Robert Mifune was working part-time at McDonald's and learning the basics of binary trading by running errands for a financial firm. When he felt like he had learned enough, he started trading at the age of 17. No one could have predicted how well he was going to do, as he eventually quit his job at McDonald's in order to trade full-time. He now owns $250,000 worth of cars, has invested in coffee shops throughout London, and owns his own property all before the age of 20. Nick D'Aloisio Before Nick D'Aloisio was a teenager, he was already teaching himself computer programming by reading books and watching videos online. Once he had perfected his skills, he used them to develop apps during his summer breaks. He eventually struck gold at the age of 15 with an app called Trim It, which is basically the cliff notes for news articles. A Japanese investor saw the potential of the app and gave Deloisio $300,000 in venture capital to perfect it. They went on to sell the end product, Summily, to Yahoo for $300 million. Isabella Barrett She may not be a teenager just yet, but this ex-toddler and tiara star is already worth millions. Isabella Barrett has millions of followers online and is considered a successful businesswoman in her own right. She helped develop and is a stakeholder in two fashion brands named Glitzy Girls and Bound by the Crown Couture. Since she is so young and has so much money, she hopes to keep investing to help her money grow as fast as she does. Farah Gray by the age of 14, Farah Gray made history books by becoming the youngest millionaire outside of the entertainment industry. He was born to an impoverished family on the south side of Chicago. Gray refused to let his situation hold him back. He was determined to be financially and socially successful. He eventually founded and operated several business ventures, from selling prepaid phone cards to being an executive producer for a comedy show on the Las Vegas Strip. But it was being the owner of Far Out Foods that made him his first million. Harvey Millington At 14 years old, Harvey Millington has been able to turn a $2,000 gift from his father into a $2 million fortune. The teen noticed that the British government had scrapped their vehicle tax decals, so he developed similar decals to remind people when their car tax has expired. This proved to be a good choice because the teen eventually made $100,000 in profit. He spent $40,000 on a piece of property next to his home. A few months later, land developers offered Millington $2 million for his newly acquired land, which he found too good to pass up. Ashley Qualls when she was just 14 years old, Ashley Qualls taught herself how to code in HTML and decided to launch a site called whateverlife.com to showcase her work. She wasn't seeing much traction, so in order to bring people to her site, she started offering her designs to her peers for their MySpace layouts. This proved to be just the trick, because soon word of mouth started drawing more and more site visitors. She decided to take advantage of the numbers by joining Google AdSense, where she got a cut of advertising revenue. She eventually went on to cut her own deals with advertisers and still brings in millions from whateverlife.com. Jalen Bledsoe at 17 years old, Jalen Bledsoe is the CEO of an investments and holdings company that employs 250 people. The teen attributes his success to working for his dream instead of waiting for someone else to make it happen. He claims that he focuses on his success, and no matter how many setbacks he has, he always stays on track, even if he has to find a new way. His company, the Jalen D. Bledsoe Global Group, is now worth millions, therefore making Jalen a self-made teen millionaire. Ben Kapelishnik 16-year-old Ben Kapelishnik, also known as Ben Kex, has found a way to capitalize in the 1.2 billion resale market. The homeschooled teen is the owner of SneakerDon.com, which resells, customizes, and hard-to-find sneakers. He is set to make $1 million from his online store alone, but it's his famous clients like Travis Scott is where he makes the most money. Ben has become somewhat of a sneaker broker to some of the most famous people out there who are willing to give him free advertising on their social media. Media, thus making his credibility grow as well as his bank account. 
Muhammad Islam. When Muhammad Islam of NYC was just nine years old, he took an interest in dabbling in penny stocks. He was so good at trading penny stocks during lunch breaks that by the age of 17, he had acquired over $72 million. He now enjoys his fortune by splurging on expensive dinners with friends and a BMW he doesn't have a license to drive. And though he was paying rent on a Manhattan apartment, his immigrant parents haven't allowed him to move out of their queen's apartment. Christian Owens Christian Owens has had his hands in many internet businesses, launching his first one at the age of 14. By the age of 16, he dropped out of school and never looked back. He has been able to be involved in a number of startups, which include clients like MySpace and Mac Bundle Box. He has said that though his young looks give him some questionable looks in the boardroom, it affords him the luxury of being able to take risks, which end up great for the lining of his pockets. What do you think of these self-made teen millionaires? React in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Taco.